my co-authors and I wanted to find out whether giving people corrective information about vaccines would make them more likely to vaccinate. So one idea that's out there is that if we debunk the myth specifically that uh, vaccines cause autism, that would help bring vaccine hesitant parents into the fold and get them to vaccinate. So we decided to test that using actual materials from the Centers for Disease Control's website, uh, as well as some other uh, messages that people have used to try to promote vaccination. And what we found was that when we gave people corrective information, it actually made the parents who were least pro-vaccine, the parents who were most concerned about vaccines, less likely to say they would intend to vaccinate a future child rather than more. One way to uh, was to communicate the dangers posed by communicable disease by showing images of sick children who had the diseases prevented by the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. One way was textual information about the risks posed by those diseases. And one was a narrative that told the story of a child who'd become sick with measles to try to make that a more relatable sort of um, risk that otherwise might seem very abstract. Uh, none of those we found increase the like, intended likelihood to vaccinate. Maybe, so it's an, it's an empirical question we don't know. So one of the messages of our paper is we need to test what works and what doesn't experimentally and find out. So I'm open to the possibility that there are other ways to present that information that would be more effective. Uh, it might also matter who the source is. One thing we mentioned in the paper is that if that information came from your doctor, who is the most trusted source of vaccine information, it might be more effective than something you read on the internet. So there are different ways to promote vaccination. We don't intend to say that these strategies never work, but at least the evidence is inconsistent with it so far, and we should test more carefully and try to find out. It's essential to use evidence-based communication strategies. When I started working in this field, I assumed that I was missing all the research that was using evidence-based communication strategies, and it was somewhere and I just couldn't find it. And then I realized that there were actually very few evidence-based studies of vaccine messaging. Uh, I, I was shocked by that given how insistent the medical community is on evidence-based uh, approaches to treatment. Right? So we should take the same approach to communicating about vaccines that we do to testing the vaccines themselves. Uh, and we hope our study can help encourage people to do more of that. I think there's a, a lot that's already being done that people could do very simple experiments and find out how well it works. Uh, there's very simple and easy things to do that don't have to be huge and expensive trials. I think there's you know, a lot of potential here. Mm -hmm.